This is the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. The Hyper Adapt is a myth turned into reality. It auto laces, it takes that, that dream that was seen in a movie years ago and makes it a, a reality that people can actually feel. This shoe, it, it becomes alive. It shapes to your foot. I personally call it Earl or electro-adaptive reactive lacing. Basically, we have what we call a lace engine that's down here in the bottom of it. And it's in a, a plastic housing, so it's protected. It is attached to the fit system. So it's attached to fly wire that actually comes up through both sides and goes and wraps around your foot. When the user steps in, there's a heel sensor. The lace engine will run and tighten down the fit system. And then it'll, it'll sense certain tension around your foot and it'll stop. It's a really new experience. It's the future. I, I, sometimes I can't believe I see it right here and it does what it does. It was a dream for so long. Working with Tinker on this it was incredible. I mean, we would run into a problem, a technical problem, where like the mechanism is too big or you know it can't, it can't hit the ground. And he would take the design and modify it, still keeping the athlete you know, in the forefront of his mind, and like add this bar across because we didn't want it touching the ground, but we needed it exposed so that we could charge a shoe. I'm excited to not only you know, continually look for cool projects, but just working with the latest technology is just it's amazing. There's two buttons here, minus to loosen, plus to tighten and just adjust it simply throughout your day. I, I mean, it takes less than a second to adjust. And think of retying your laces every time you want to make an adjustment. This shoe lights up. You know, we've seen lights in shoes before, but typically they're kind of gimmicks. There's really nothing, nothing about uh, this Earl shoe that uh, isn't sort of purposeful. So the lights tell you when the motor's running, the lights tell you when the batteries are fully charged. The battery's gonna last you roughly about two weeks. So when your battery's full, it's blue. When it gets to yellow, you have a few more days. When it gets to red, you should get it on the charger right away. And so this is the charger. You have two pucks because you gotta charge two shoes. It just magnetically sticks to the bottom. You plug it in, this blue light will flash. It takes about three hours to charge it, and then you're good for another two weeks. We're at the, in the beginning stages of all kinds of products that will change and adapt and become more useful. For performance, just being able to adjust it on the fly at the beginning of the basketball game versus the halftime, beginning of a marathon versus the end of a marathon. Your feet swell, there's sweat. They're, they're, your environment's always changing in sports. Initially, you have control of it, being able to just adjust it by pressing the button quickly, but in the future, that, that's gonna happen on its own. There's a lot of people that can't tie their shoes. The fact that you can just step into these and press a button just simplifies that a lot and just for quality of life is enormous. All of this stuff kind of really sort of fits together into a composition that I think is sort of not over-designed. It's kind of really meant to sort of focus on the, on the what's unique about it and not be too crazy. I think this is completely changes the game. It, it like goes from when you didn't wear shoes to when you started wearing shoes. Technology is changing and our ability to um, sort of rethink a problem also gives you ammunition for changing the aesthetic. It's so cool. You, you have no idea how cool it is to step in a shoe and it automatically tightens. I mean, like, think about that. Like, you should try it on. Just try it on.